<clears throat> hey, what's going on? Just came from a McDonald's. <clears throat> and they had a um, Mexican male cross-dresser <clears throat> at the drive-thru. Tell you, they try to kill two birds with one stone for all the people they keep promoting. With that Kansas City shooting, fake, and a whole bunch of other events, they keep making sure that they put female police chiefs or assistant chiefs or female anybody that was in a traditionally male role. They want to make sure that they're visible for the public. Still don't know what purpose this shit serves because it's still fantasy to think that a woman is equal to a man in many respects. Women are not warriors. They can't go to war. They damn sure can't go to war with men or against men. Hell, they can't go to war with men either, but they damn sure can't go to war against men. That's not what females are built for. That's why that movie, The Marvels, flopped. And that one is an official flop. Not a flop compared to other Marvel movies. That's an actual flop. They also said that last Ant-Man movie flopped too. But I thought that was the best Ant-Man, but... Maybe they're revising the history because of the situation. But, um, you know, I had the chance to buy that at Best Buy on 4K for $9.99. But, I mean, it was all right. But, the, you know, the parts that got me was when he was fighting, um, it was my man Krang, Kang. And he was getting punched by him. And his head wasn't getting taken off. And he wasn't even getting knocked out. I hate when movies do that shit. Just have the man avoid punches. Period. If you don't want him to get knocked out. It's like when Obi-Wan Kenobi was fighting uh, General Grievous. I was like, now anybody that gets hit by a goddamn robot, you're dead. But you know how it is in the movies. But, um, anyway... In case people, the main topic of today, number one, I still got that other channel parked. I just didn't get to it. Got a name idea in my head, a less threatening name. And that will be my last go around. Yeah, I guess if YouTube is listening, they might say, okay, we can get rid of this one. That'll be it. But that brings me to the main topic. I think. Practically everybody will be dropping by the wayside soon. Everybody that's not agents or sponsored by somebody. And the reason I say that is because obviously the biggest news on YouTube, especially black YouTube, so to speak, you got people who are already well paid, millionaire, millionaires. Uh, many times over who get YouTube channels and I think the hits are bogus but you know they want us to believe that you know people can accumulate 60 million uh, views in, in a matter of days you know if Cat Williams w were that popular he'd be doing something else And if he were telling the truth, he'd be dead. But like I said, Shannon Sharp did put on that makeup that time. So never forget that. I don't know if they caught him in a dress, but he did put on the makeup. I guess they said dress or makeup. Which one? I guess most men would choose the makeup. <laughs> because you could, have, you know, you could at least try to bullshit your way out of that. But they, there really ain't no way of bullshitting your way out of it. You could just try to make make yourself feel good about thinking that you uh, BS the, the the public, but when it comes to that dress, 
God damn it. Once it's out there, it's out there. I mean, we have to assume if you're going to put on a dress for money, that you must be bending over and greasing up that behind, too. Like that Caleb Williams. That's why I say every time they start hyping some guy up, I say, how do they know what this person is going to be? It's like LeBron James. He didn't go to college, but yet they hyped him up. And then he started doing the pyramid thing and got the tattoos and shit on his body. In other words, this is a cheating world. You just can't, as you listen to Sean Hannity, apparently, it, you know, their audience must not think that their their audience is too bright because they say Republicans or conservatives believe that if you're talented, you know, be able to maximize your talent, your talents in a free uh, society. But that's apparently not the case. You got to be controlled. You can't have talents and do your thing on your own. You got to have sponsorship. You got to have somebody backing you. Or else you will get shut down. Case in point myself. Versus these uh, sponsored YouTubers. I mean, there are other people too. That's why a lot of other people kind of stop doing videos. I don't even have to know why, but we already know why. Because you keep getting shut down. Some people call it shadow banning. I mean, that's one way of putting it. But just like people get shadow banned, others get promoted. And the topic of today, matter of fact, before I even get to the topic... Let me just say this because I also watched the YouTube video with uh, Tweet Nasheed and he's talking about Taharka Bay and his victory. Apparently, Taharka Bay must have scored a victory too because Tariq Nasheed kept saying over and over again that Taharka Bay is not a uh, sexual offender. So apparently, Tariq Nasheed must have been ordered to say that, but of course, his ego would never tell you that he was ordered to say that. And Tariq Nasheed, Nasheed says that Bay has been ordered to not make any more videos about him, which I don't see how that's possible, because if the man is a public figure, you can make videos. Now, I challenge Tariq Nasheed to come after me. Not saying I'm a big shot, but, you know, Tariq and Bay and his kooky uh, Morris uh, uh, BS, you know, that, and, and Tariq and Bay fucked up, too. Because what he did is he lied and said he didn't get slapped. He should have called the police. Why he didn't, who knows. Maybe he felt there would have been some type of stalking charge since he went to Los Angeles. Maybe he didn't think it was recorded, but at the same time, he kept saying people were on the roof. So he must have known something. Something ain't right. Call the police, get Tariq uh, Nasheed arrested, then you can sue him later on. See, now Nasheed is hinting that he could sue him. And knowing a guy like him, he just might. But see, he keeps bragging about how we can afford attorneys and shit, but yet he's paying for all the shit with the people's money. But I know this Target Bay had a video schedule. And this is uh, Thursday I'm talking about. This is today. I'm put I should be putting this up right today. Um he had a video schedule, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Or Wednesday. <laughs> Whenever his last video went up. But he had one that was scheduled uh, featuring Tariq Nasheed. And I was like, okay, let me hear what he has to say about him this time. Then I noticed that that whole thing got canceled and he put up a repeat. And I didn't know what it was until I heard the Tariq Nashi video. And then I said, okay, that's why. But Target Bay didn't take down the rest of his videos, though. So, I mean, I don't see how a judge can tell somebody to not talk about somebody. 
if you're he could, and, and he tweet now she also said he can't go to the so-called museum i mean who the fuck would want to go there then again Tarka Bay they did go there that museum should be done after a while anyway uh in addition, you know, you got uh, Tariq Nasheed and his X spaces uh, being taken down. Some people says because he wants all the money going to himself, which, of course, that's what a greedy bastard like himself would uh, want. But I think it's more because he's a coon and he keeps getting in, in these uh, must have conversations with these so-called white supremacists the man rolls out the very carpet for them makes them feel good can't wait to talk to them when black people get on all right brother i got the lane your plane they could be talking about some good shit but that's how you can tell where people's minds are at and what their missions are when black people get on talking about good shit you got to find ways to land their plane but when the white man comes on, why are all these white people calling Tariq Nashi? His, his show, like I said, his show's turned into some type of uh, conservative shit with nothing but white people. That's probably why he, he said, fuck it. I don't want nobody copying my spaces. Well, let me tell you something. You can copy his Twitter spaces and put them on YouTube if you want to. He doesn't own the rights to that shit. And, um... That's not YouTube videos. Tariq Nasi doesn't own the rights. That's Twitter. That ain't no fucking uh, production by him. So all you got to do is say, I was on the call too. What the, that's, that's me. I'm on there. They don't know that you weren't on there waiting in line or talking. See, he, he's been fucking up lately. So he, he's like, fuck that, man. I don't want people getting the whole conversations anymore. And cutting that shit up because he's been lying, contradicting himself. And I'm, I'm glad other people have been finally hearing it because he's been contradicting himself for months and months before people started calling him out on the uh, Aboriginal stuff or the indigenous stuff versus the African stuff. But now people finally, you know, calling him out on that shit. See, a pimp type guy, they just keep lying and trying to confuse you, hoping that. You forget about whatever it is that they want you to forget about. And if you keep emphasizing it, they become angry. Because they're, they're like, man, my lies aren't working. So I got to shut this person down. Technically, that's what he's doing with Taharka Bay. Uh, and of course, Bay is scared straight because he doesn't want his money to go and Tariq Nasheed is threatening that with the YouTube money but um speaking of Maryland that was another thing the first time I saw a Mexican cross dress at a drive through was in Maryland I think it was around 2010 or 9 or something like that I was surprised to see a, a goddamn Mexican to begin with, let alone a cross dress one and at a drive through. I said, damn, why they got to put them at the drive throughs to make sure they're divisible? Crazy shit. Too many Mexican cops from seeing them in the Carolinas and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Something's going to be going down pretty soon. They're just putting everything in place. We'll see who the victims are. <laughs> a lot more fake shit. They're still trying to get the guns. They keep trying to bring us back into that British fold. Watching that Kansas City uh, shooting on YouTube. It was on CBS. And um, <clears throat> one of the anchors was fucking British. I said, man, what the fuck is this shit, man? Watching some shit. A, a police chase from uh, Los Angeles the other day. Guy in the helicopter was fucking Australian. I said, man, what, what the fuck? On the radio yesterday, they were talking about the metric system. Why we need to get with the metric system. When you go on Google and 
put in something like how tall is a basketball player or anybody for that matter. They come back with uh, centimeters and shit. I said, man, what the fuck? They're trying to put us in that state of mind. They keep promoting soccer. Like we give a fuck about soccer. All eyes are on the Super Bowl all over the world. But the rest of the world claims that they hate our football. And so you can call it a coincidence that 22 people got injured during that shooting. And that was a loss for the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, it could be. But nothing's a coincidence. You can go to that 153 news web dot net. So that's where the conspiracy videos are at. At least there's some place. I'm sure there must be some more uh, sites. But let me segue back into the main thing because that helps uh, segue into it. The Shannon Sharps, the Keyshawn Johnsons, the Ashanti Samuels, the T.O. I don't even know where the hell his shit went. Matt Barnes. <clears throat> Who else did I just find? I didn't know. I didn't know Ashanti Samuel had one. I just found that the other day. Just found that Yahoo Sports has a channel. Uh, a whole bunch of other people. You know, Cameron Mace. I don't really like this show, to be honest with you. Uh, other people. They get the guests. Now Willie D has changed uh, his format. Now he's getting the guests. Instead of doing reporting on the news now. Such an abrupt change. They have sets. Regular people had sets, but not as expensive or as elaborate. They had people that deal with their graphics and their topics, for that matter, and research teams. Stephen A. Smith, all these people, if you notice, what they all do is they make sure to do what they don't do on television. They make sure to say, Fuck this. Fuck these motherfuckers. Niggas that. Bitches that. Why? One is to try and show you that they're raw. The handcuffs are off. The other is because they're taking our lanes. That's why. And like I said before, I used to say so many times, people like me, they lower our numbers because success or the perception of success sways opinions. When you heard about Shannon Sharp getting 34 million views off of a Cat, off of a Cat Williams interview, and I think it was one or two days, that makes you say, damn. And it makes... Other YouTubers who are looking to get paid only say, damn, I got to do something like that. That's why others started talking about them, aside from the fact that some of them are ordered to talk about them, which is actual promotion. They figured, that, let me get whatever hits I can get off of it and get whatever money I can get out of it. That's still in our lanes, whether it's beefs, even though a lot of these beefs are made up. On YouTube just to get hits. Because some of them realize. Okay well you know we got to do this. The soap opera way. WWE way. Keep new storylines going. And all that kind of stuff. Some beasts. That's usually the <clears throat> best way to get it going. Uh, without. When you can't come up with something good. <laughs> That's creative. Um. So the celebrities, you already had agents on here already. And when I say agents, I don't just mean government agents per se, but just agents, period. You're sponsored by somebody, you're backed by somebody. Like in the early days of YouTube, there were people on YouTube who would, you could tell that they were just sponsored by YouTube to make videos. 
And what they were saying, it wasn't necessarily. Well, one of them was that that uh, I forgot that guy's name, that gay guy, Jay something, <clears throat> that black gay guy, <clears throat> who kept threatening to leave YouTube, but would never leave. Uh, Jay something, I forgot his name. Jay Love, I think it was his name. I strongly believe that he was one of them. A few others were. You know, to get, you know how it is, it's like anything, even with Rumble. It's, uh, once you start something up, you bring an audience. It's like a uh, new restaurant opens up. You get a free slice of pizza. Buy one uh, pizza, get a, a large cheese for free. They got to have something to reel you in. Same thing with a YouTube. Got to have something to reel you in. You got to have content and different varieties of content so that people will watch. And what have they been saying for the longest time? They've been saying for years that people, more people watch online than watch actual TV, live TV. <clears throat> and that translates into YouTube. And before it translated into ads. And then, as you know, YouTube is owned by the banking people. Speaking of that, I, I couldn't help but notice with the Kansas City situation. I think it was a professor or Dr. Myers or something like that. I say, here you go. Every time there's an event, you can find you a small hat. In the far reaches of the country. And a victim, a, a goddamn Mexican type, get the fuck out of here. In Kansas City, of all places, get the fuck out of here with that. And I also noticed that uh, Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri, I see that they both celebrate uh, <laughs> the uh, victory, I see. I guess the uh, fake Kansas City might as well uh, get some shine off of it. But anyway, that's what they do. They have a variety on topics to reel you in. And then after a while, you're like, you know what? If you're like me, you like trying to do something that nobody else is doing, which is what I was doing on YouTube in the early days. And I thought I could do what I wanted to do, and what you could. Everything but showing porn and killing, of course. But then Google brought it up, bought it up. And I kept asking myself, damn, why did they want to buy that instead of just making their own? But see, you got to understand, sometimes things are bought just so nobody else will have it. Including the people who created it. Even though you, you got to also know a lot of these creation Histories are fucking totally fake too. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind. A lot of shit is set up to make it look like uh, the origins that they present to you are the actual origins. Or does Facebook or YouTube? You gotta keep that shit in mind. Before Google bought YouTube. This is one thing people should really do keep in mind with when it comes to the internet. Google dominates so many segments. And of course that's small hat on. That so many people believe that they are the internet. But they're not. Their tentacles are everywhere. And with YouTube, when they bought it, they, they would pay you. To make videos. Some, and that's the thing. Some people jumped on the shit early. Some people knew everything about it. And I'm like. It, before people. When I found out people were actually making a living. Quitting their jobs. And everything was YouTube. I was like. Who would take a gamble like that? Why would somebody quit their job? Then you realize a lot of people just didn't have any. And it created some money. But. Google pays you a lot 
in different ways. So people love dealing with Google. And of course, they implanted the saying. Whenever you got a question that need, that needs to be answered, Google it. People like me, for years, we refused to mess with Google. Just because I'm like, okay, why should I? That was my question. And remember, there used to be a bunch of different browsers. And Chrome is Google. I see the new Microsoft. I think that's uh, built on Chrome. There used to be a Safari for Windows, but then they got rid of that. I used to actually use it. And I liked it because it was totally detached from the others. Uh, source codes on Windows. Now, basically, the only unique browsers you have, that's Chrome, but that's Google. You have Opera, which I believe is a standalone uh, uh, web browser. Of course, you have Mozilla. I believe that's standalone, too. And what's the other one I use? Mozilla, Firefox, Firefox, Mozilla, Chrome, and the uh, Windows Edge, which I actually like. I like that better than inter the old Internet Explorer. Everything else, I, I believe, because I've been searching for different uh, web browsers. I found some other one. I took it off at an Italian name, but even that one was built on Chrome. My point is the internet used to be it used to have variety. That's 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 the point. Different web browsers, different search engines. Duck duck goes a small hat just like Google. We had the Yahoo, but sometimes I swear to Yahoo I believe that intertwines with uh, Google. I think that's owned by Verizon now. Remember, Yahoo had censorship. It took away the comments and then they bought it back after a while. But they don't want people knowing anything. And matter of fact, what I did today, because of Kansas City, see, this is the other thing too that used to happen. Every time there was an event, national event, like this Kansas City shooting, now you got the D.C. situation going on. All happened one after the other because, you know, it's about the guns. So, once they take the guns, they take away your right to defend yourself. And they're knocking down the United States, which will bring it back into the United Kingdom fold. People don't believe it, but you see what the fuck is going on. But... Normally, this is what I did. Normally, right after an event happens, you can go on. You could go on YouTube and search for what I just searched for: Kansas City shooting hoax. Every now and then, I'll check it out just to see if they allow some videos to slip through. Nothing. It's just straight up reports on it. That I mean, you talk about censorship. And people who uh, are in line with uh, or in agreement with the white man trying to destroy the Constitution. If you don't like China living or, or Russian living, you keep helping them out. That's what you're going to get. You already got it with YouTube censorship right there. They don't even want you because the when the Newtown situation happened. The conspiracy videos, they, they proved everything left and right. And then events after that, they proved the shit left and right. They said, man, fuck this. And then by the time the COVID came, they said, damn, damn that. If anybody even subtly said anything, they called it misinformation. Get out of here. All that kind of shit. So. And you notice how some people get to jump on which words would be censored and shit. Either that or just paranoid because some people monetize getting paid. So they're like, fuck it. I don't want to lose my gravy train. But you can put in hoax. You can't find it anymore. 
if you do find it, it's usually going to be a video made by the perpetrators to make it look like it's actual opposition. And then some dimwit might say, oh, okay, I see it. Because you see, normally those fake conspiracy videos, they end up with um, the conclusion that something's fishy, but they don't tell you what the fuck it is. So <laughs> uh, that's what they do. So you got to go to that 153news.net. Then you'll see the videos. Now, beware, though, there are some hoax videos out there where the people aren't necessarily, I don't want to say telling the truth, but I'll just say they're not necessarily accurate. But I, I'll just say they're accurate. Like, there was one video they said that somebody was carrying a dummy just because, I mean, people can make their bodies limp. I mean, come on. Stuff like that. You got to be aware of that kind of shit. Don't let people guide you. If they suggest something in the video, you keep looking at it and see if that's what you see. If you don't feel that you see it, then you don't have to see it. So you got people like them. Some people just hate the system or hate it regardless. But <clears throat> for some reason, I had a feeling something was going to go down with that Kansas City shit. I just had a feeling. <laughs> Not necessarily shootings, but I, knew, I had a feeling something was going to happen. Um, of course, the 49ers fired a black man, of course. Steve Wilkes, that guy, they hired a man up so many times and they just keep firing him like crazy. I said, damn, it's hard to get a career going when, when shit like that keeps happening. But um, conspiracy videos. It's fucked up. I like hearing different perspectives. They don't want you to hear different perspectives because they don't want you thinking about anything else. That's what that's what's called uh, propaganda and brainwashing. That's what pimps do. That's what preachers do. That's what Jim Jones does. <laughs> they tell you don't think about nothing else. If you mind, your mind start wandering and, and saying, "Well, wh what's that all about? Well, why we gotta do that?" They don't want to hear none of that kind of shit. Get out there and sell your ass. I need a new Cadillac. And then if you're still hard-headed, you know how it is. They got to beat you. And then if you start influencing others, they got to shut you down. By any means necessary. Including a casket. <laughs> so right now they're tightening up the propaganda range. Since they're tightening it up, that means that they must be getting ready for some more action. And that's why I'm saying that YouTube is no longer YouTube. They call it YouTube because it, it, you can put your shit up on the tube. <laughs> you can put your videos up there. They're moving everybody out. The regular man and woman. I mean, if you got cat videos, uh, cuddly uh, 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 baby tigers and, <laughs> and, and baby bears, because those, those are the videos that keep popping up. Like these people in Pakistan, they keep on, um, I'm sure these videos are staged going around finding cats and bringing them back to health and all that kind of shit. You know, people love those videos. I mean, how many cat videos can you have? But there are quite a few. They, they, they're like, man, the hell with that. I'm just going for the money. Then you got the, the guy with, with all the sports uh, shows that I think he's out of Vietnam. It's funny. My man even made himself a sports-like logo. <laughs> this shit is funny. But these Asians know how to milk the system and get the money. I, I, I'm not hating. Get the money, God damn it. Get it. I don't know how they get their, uh, their subs up to, to where they need it, but they get it. So black YouTube beef videos. Now the black celebrities have taken that lane. Stephen A. Smith with Jason Whitlock. 
I ask the question. When we have beefs. You know what starts happening afterwards. People start flagging videos. And I got one guy out there that keeps accusing me, falsely accusing me of flagging videos, which I never do. I just asked him one time, since you're going to diss me, don't use my clip to diss me. He he didn't get a strike. He got one of those... Uh, Things that the the where you can take it down, and then there, there won't be any problems. That's not flagging. So he needs to stop saying that. But um, how come Stephen A. Smith didn't flag Jason Whitlock's channel to have it taken down? Because you know that's how niggas do. They say I don't want to. Uh, uh, YouTube they had their way of censoring. Like I just outlined. But black people on YouTube, when they get pissed off, they want your channel out. They don't want to hear from you anymore. Because they don't like what you have to say. And they can't challenge what you have to say. With any kind of truth, anyway. That's what niggas normally do. But Jason Whitlock... His channel still still there when you apparently when you're sponsored by somebody I don't know if you're paying YouTube I imagine you must be paying YouTube something or else channels will be flagged down or they would be in violation but their videos are never in violation of anything their shit does, doesn't get flagged down because the shit is fake. It's all backed by conglomerates. And what's the whole goal? The whole goal is to stop us from YouTubing and just go back to watching. We watch and get brainwashed while they pro provide the content. If live TV... was still the main way that people watched news and everything else, they wouldn't even bother. Since Google bought YouTube, see, before YouTube, I mean, before Google bought YouTube, you could search for a video, and the videos would go anywhere. They could be on somebody's website, anything. Now, when you search, they all lead back to YouTube. Even if you use a different search engine. Well, they'll, they won't emphasize YouTube, but it's harder to find an embedded, because that's the way it used to be. You used to, be able, you used to have to use some clever uh, know-how or sometimes programs to help you scour the internet for email addresses, don't ask me why, but they came in handy back in the days. <laughs> uh, videos embedded in web browsers or even on the servers. You had to get the videos, music. Now, anybody knows about the news groups, which I, I think they're still around, but that was a hotbed of information. That's how you used to get your underground shit. Games, your torrent files, all that kind of shit came from news groups first. It came from, you had the movies, music, video games, software, documents, all information came from news groups before any torrents. That was the place to be. And they used to be free. Then they started charging. And of course, a person like me, I'm moving away from them. Fuck it. But I think they still have... In those places, those archives stand. I mean, you can get every goddamn thing on a news group. 
Those archives saying it's not like YouTube where they just take the shit down after a while. That's why that was good. And that's why YouTube fucked the game up because of the propaganda. Now, I know some people might be saying, well, there's millions of YouTube channels. Yeah, they are. But you notice the kind that they're leaving out. Like I said, the videos, anything that goes against what they're trying to promote. You can put up all the animals you want and make all the money you want. You can put your TV show style uh, uh, cooking contests up, all that kind of shit. Talk about nails, beauty. Uh, some black people are reduced to talking about uh, celebrities from b back in the day. I mean, some of them are interesting if you didn't know about some of them, but you have to be neutral to get paid or to at least keep your channel. And neutrality is entertainment. Not shit that makes you think. Knowing about an old celebrity, that's not really going to do anything to enhance your life, the truth be told. But knowing whether or not JFK got taken down in a uh, coup, that will. You don't think it will, but it will. So, I mean, this is what's going on these days. It's fucking insane. I hate it, but we got to live with it. So I think the life before Google, when it was a minor player, I, I mem remember I used to get shocked at how much Google was making. And I still didn't know if the, the figures were really real. Because Yahoo, it's the other search engine. There was Alta Vista. And, uh, some other ones. I'm sure there's still search engines today. But Google suppresses them on there as they suppress videos from other sources other than YouTube. Because, you know, you go to a CNN or something like that. They'll have videos on their websites. But a lot of them, because they got YouTube channels too. And you'll find old websites where people link videos to YouTube. But because the channels got taken down or copyright notice for the video, the video is taken off. So that's why you got to go back to the old days where you put the video up. Then they have the, what is it, the DCMA, which is the copyright shit they use on YouTube. They mainly enforce it on YouTube, mainly because it's about money. And then they also enforce it because <clears throat> it's about propaganda and stopping real information. Like a lot of the uh, hoax videos, they would use news clips because you got to use the real deal in order to show people the bullshit. So they used to stop people from using news clips. But I still got news clips in HD from uh, certain events. And on a channel I used to have, what was that channel? Uh, the Underground Raw, I used to put them up there. Raw and unbranded just so that people, you know, can use them for their videos. Just in case they missed them. And if you notice in the news these days, I don't know if you noticed, but the news, they're getting really slick. And thanks to YouTube, though. I get to see news from coast to coast, but I'm seeing some shit trending in crime. I mentioned a lot of that shit in the last video, but they're starting to show weird crime where people are just going around getting, I think in Los Angeles the other day, people going around, I think it was four people killed, different er areas on a killing spree, but they don't show the people. The, the emotion from a parent who just lost their child in a random killing. You know, the shit just doesn't sit, look genuine. Like I said, most people don't have time to be talking to no goddamn media as soon as the shit happens. And the lady was just looking like, oh man, this is unfortunate. See, every time we get online and we critique the fake shit, they try to tweak the performances. 
But see, we know raw emotion. Nobody, I don't give a damn how great of an actor somebody is. That's the shit you can't duplicate. And timing is everything. I shouldn't even be giving these people clues. <laughs> but they don't show suspects. They don't really show crime scenes any fucking more. Really, all you're seeing, even with the Kansas City shit, all you're really seeing is general videos and pictures of, and videos of a mayor, police chief. They're doing the talking. They're telling you what the fuck you should be thinking. But they don't show you why you should be thinking it. And the past, that's what news is supposed to be fucking about. You see what the fuck is going on. You see what happened. On the news, you used to see when somebody got killed, you used to see the motherfucking bodies. You used to see the blood. You used to see the crime scene. You used to see the victims. You used to see the perpetrators. Now, these motherfuckers, the news, they don't want to show you the fucking victims, except in a picture, still, a still picture, in 2024. They don't even want to show you the motherfucking perpetrators anymore. And they damn sure don't want to show you the crime scene. And when you can't see none of that, it has to be fake. It has to be. Don't worry about names. Names could be fake. They could easily put people in the system and all that kind of shit. That's what the movie Eyes Wide Shut as I was going to say boring. But as uh, looking for the word, <laughs> but I think Krubik uh, made it like that on purpose, though. So you keep wondering what the fuck is this really all about, all that kind of shit. But I can't think of the word. I don't want to say mundane. I I, I don't. But he unassuming, yeah, that's probably a better word. He, he made the movie kind of unassuming to what the main point is like. But obviously, people in the know they know what the main point is like. But like I said, the key part of that movie was when they grabbed that hooker and she got killed, and then they try to say I think it was a suicide or drug overdose. Or the whole point was that they can call it whatever the fuck they need to call it. Just like I was watching more videos on that Nick. Hillary guy from upstate New York a video came into my feed about his interrogation <clears throat> where he's supposed to have killed that little kid the Jamaican dude so he got off even though the circumstances say that he could have but it also says that the other guy could have to this day I don't think that they uh, found who did it I mean obviously it had to be somebody with a clear motive because why else would you go break into a home and or had the keys and killed the kid. But the police violated the man's rights. Stripped him naked. I guess they wanted to see. What he had in his pants. That was driving that white lady so wild. But. And he, I think he lost the civil suit too. Which. Uh, for having his rights violated. Which is crazy. But. One thing I noticed. He. He. <laughs> Packed this shit up and moved to New Jersey. So I said, he ain't moved to New York City. He, he moved to New Jersey. So part of me was saying, damn, my man want to get out of the grasp of New York State. Make sure that New York couldn't do something on them in case they found something else. <laughs> so he said, let me move to New Jersey. I ain't going to say that's suspicious, but that sounds, you know, that's a... That sound like some precautions to me, but <laughs> it's just a lesson he learned. You go up to all the way up to upstate New York, way upstate by Canada, to hillbilly, uh, the northern hillbilly world, and you're the only Negro around, but they're going to stick it to you. He said that he heard that some people didn't like them being together. But of course, you know, when these immigrants, these Caribbeans, they love them some white women. They're going to do anything to keep that white woman, even though she wasn't successful or nothing. She just had a nice body. And then after she had her fun with him, 
they break up. You know how these uh, foreign black guys, man, they want their white woman. But he should have gotten something for having his rights uh, violated. But I'll say this. If he did kill that kid and got away with that shit. Fuck it. I'm sure he'll uh, feel he'll, he'll he'll accept not having no uh, uh, civil rights uh, violation judgment in his favor and being able to sue and get money out of it. I'm sure he'll take uh, his freedom over that. Some nosy motherfuckers, I tell you. Anyway, I think I said all I had to say, but um. YouTube is not what it used to be. The internet is not what it used to be. Don't forget they, they put the great reset out. <laughs> and, and it's happening. We'll see where the brotherhood gets people. But, um... YouTube is nothing but propaganda. When I actually get home... I'm going to find, see if I can find some more search engines. It's getting to the point with the internet. It's going to have to be, it's going to be like the old days. Where you had to know what you were looking for. <laughs> on the internet in order to go there. Cert, going in the search engine. is not going to do it anymore because they just censor shit out. There's propaganda. I swear to you, when you look at pictures, even when you look at images on, on uh, Google, try searching for something on Google, then searching for images on another site, even a DuckDuckGo, and see what you come up with. Because some celebrity death photos I've been trying to find, I can't find them. Put them on Google, you can't find shit. Uh... Seems like the best place for, uh, for pictures might be Flickr and still the news groups. Uh, Flickr is good for pictures. What's that other one? Man, I forgot the name of the other one with the uh, red logo. It looks like the Philadelphia Phillies logo or the Washington Nationals logo. Pinterest, that's 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 the one. That one is all right too for pictures. But beware of the pictures. Sometimes they're not. The descriptions don't really aren't really what the pictures are. But you gotta have to start digging deep to get what you want. That's that was the whole premise of the internet. You gotta dig and find what you're looking for because it wasn't. Per Present it to you because that's what the search engines are for. That's what they came up with. To direct you to certain things. Now they want to redirect you to some shit that they don't want you to see. <laughs> that's fucked up. But you're going to have to know what website you want to go to. I hate being held back. I hate being censored. This is why wars and empires never end because... As soon as you get something, there's always somebody who wants to take it away. And then once they take it away, people get pissed and they're ready to go to war. And things come to an end. It's the same thing over and over again. They already censor legally or, or by order in other countries like Iran and China and shit like that. Here they do it because the companies do it. And sometimes the U.S. government does it with the bullshit of uh, national security. Nothing you should see or nothing you could see or read is a threat to national security on a computer. Unless it's the code to, to fuck up everybody's uh, servers or some shit like that, but 
we know that that type of shit ain't going to be around. But this is what happens. I mean, uh, we're at a time where YouTube is changing. They're just transitioning and the public figures are the ones getting the money, getting the views. And people who were YouTubers are left talking about what they did instead of what you did. And after a while, your money will drop, your interest will drop, because mine is interest is definitely dropped. My money dropped years ago. And uh you'll be out. See the other the 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 public figures, they're getting a check. See, a lot of us think that they're getting a YouTube check. That's what we keep thinking. Because that's what we get. Well, I used to get, but I don't get one anymore. But you know what I'm saying? They get paid by companies, promoters. And like I said, YouTube might pay them or they might pay YouTube to put them on and keep them on. That's why they have sets built. You don't build sets unless you're generating some income. You know, people at home, their sets might be a green screen or a backdrop in a part of their house or something like that. If your can't your YouTube gets canceled, you can still have that set and it'll be useful. But if you look at Gilbert Arenas or somebody like that, you gotta rip that shit down. See, all these people they have millions of dollars already. They made tens of millions. Now, they're trying to come to you and take the audience of people who, who have been YouTubing and built up the shit. That's why they use foul language, niggas this, fuck that, motherfuckers this, and all that kind of shit, because they're trying to invade your lane. And that invasion is going to leave you unemployed. <laughs> But that's their goal because they can afford to do that. And what you would have to do, part of me, I don't mind because I've made a ton of money on the Internet before a whole lot of these changes came in, 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 into play. And I ain't going to say how because, like I said, the shit is going back to the way it used to be. So that's why I'm not going to say how, because I don't want nobody to interfere with my shit. So you're going to have to go back to the old ways, which for me, financially speaking, that'll be a good thing. But as far as freedom on the Internet, that, you know, that's not cool. But the, the if you want to call it the underground Internet, it was fun, not necessarily the dark web. <clears throat> but it was fun. You're going to have to get back there. Because I'm telling you, I got a whole lot of shit. Some of the shit I still stored on uh, discs. And that's why discs must st still remain because these hard drives, especially these SSDs, man, once that shit goes, it's it. Not getting them back. That's why I'm not even trying to buy me a... a four 12 10 terabyte drive man because i'm like man you lose that shit you can't do anything about it like i said i still got a couple of hard drives mechanical hard drives with that one that still does not work for some fucking reason and that's the one that had the r kelly videos up there and a few other videos uh that got wiped from the uh internet uh, Maisha Taylor, all those people, and a few others. Kylie Muhammad, Farrakhan's, and a whole bunch of these other videos. I swear to you, I can't imagine why it wouldn't happen. Where hackers can come in, 
find out, scour the internet, see who's online, scour and find the videos. And then just... Now, they could be slicker without fucking up your shit and just delete the the video, but most of the time, you're going to get an alert that something's being deleted. So that's probably why they don't do that, but I guess they figured, you know, let me just kill the hard drive. So that's why I back up shit on disks. Because you can't kill that. And a lot of people are like, this, I don't want no fucking disks. Shit, I personally don't want them either now, but when it comes to archiving, that's the only thing that's going to make sure that your shit does not get erased and deleted. And I keep searching. I mean, you can find, like I said, you can find big hard drives. I could buy one now, but I mean, imagine I've had heart mechanical hard drive failure, failures before. You take the time to back up and, and, and trust that shit with, on 12 gigs of shit with no backup. So if you you either got to buy two. This motherfucker's nosy. What, the, what are you looking at? Of course I'm in the motherfucking car. What the fuck are you looking at? Nosy ass motherfucker. Now I put the flap down. Now this motherfucker want to. The fuck, man? I mean, is this person this fucking nosy? God damn. Oh, white lady. Nosy. I mean, <clears throat> nosy. Fuck you. I mean, staring at me is going to do what for you? Just get your fucking ass on. God damn. Yeah, white people always think somebody's, uh, Black is up to something. Old ass lady. Anyway. This is going to go back to the old days. And. Uh, better be prepared for it. I'm not going to lie. The old days uh, of the internet were fun. Because you would find yourself in another segment of the internet. Google is the one that changed things around to make everything centralized. Because the internet is now Google. It's not search engines. It's just talking from one computer to another. So with that, I'm out.